I don't have a problem with this. Um, an average citizen, their peace can be disturbed. A police officer, peace cannot be disturbed. Um, so that's something that uh, we uh, don't have. Uh, we're not afforded the privilege of being able to have a peace disturbed. We're, we're, we have to be above that. So again, this is just some of the ways that it does cut both ways. Well, here's and what I, I would like to see. To... Well, here's what I would like to see, Tom. I would like to see, instead of the police losing rights uh, way back when and then having them restored in a different and unique way and then having the rest of us lose our rights and not having them restored, how about if everybody has the rights that we possess as individuals under the Bill of Rights and you don't lose those rights if you become an employee of the government? I mean, that's we see that over and over again. Many people are talking about these uh, clerks who refuse to enforce laws that they feel violate their First Amendment rights. I don't think government employees should lose their human rights that are enumerated in the Constitution because they become a government employee. I would like to see the same, if we had the same right, the, the same legal structure for everybody, whether they were government employee or non-government employee, I think the government employees would watch out for our rights as well because our rights are their rights. But when we have two separate standards, then that opens the door for, you know, a, a different, a preferential treatment for one group versus the other. You want me to have to investigate a bad cop like I would a citizen. You want me to grab him right away. Um, he shouldn't have the same rights as a citizen. He should be. Um, uh, we should be able to take him off the street immediately and do to him what we can't do to a regular citizen because he has the power to endanger people more so oftentimes with what he's been given his authority than an average citizen does. So the trial oh, court, the act is still a purpose. Um, so like I said, it's something to be debated. Uh, like I said, I, there's arguments on both sides. So I see your point as well. Yes, I agree. I, and, and certainly I would like to see that happen. I, I just feel like this separate process uh, where they can wait 10 days before talking to investigators. And that's right. it, it actually works the other way. It actually keeps them in process. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't, uh, it, doesn't uh, it, it delays things rather than accelerates them. Thank you so much, Tom. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're well, here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. A lot of you have been following my progress using Supermail Vitality. The last 19 weeks has been an incredible experience. I was feeling a little down and lethargic during the holidays, and none of the supplements that I was taking were doing any good. That's when my longtime friend from high school, Alex Jones, introduced me to Supermail Vitality. I was a little skeptical at first. Not only would I have the energy to work out and go to the gym, but it, it was actually the changes were happening to my body uh, a lot more rapidly. My whole mood, my libido, everything, had completely changed. The concentrated organic herbs, they stimulate your natural systems to produce the natural hormones that you need. I just really wanted to, to bulk up and hit it hard and I went in for about the first five weeks and was lifting heavy weight and just really hitting it hard and I gained 20 pounds of muscle immediately. Since that, I've decided I was gonna lose some weight and slim down. I just changed up my workout a little bit and 35 pounds came off. Folks, this is not a joke. This is not a gimmick, it's real. Super Male Vitality, available at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. 
Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain Force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of Brain Force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. Still damaging your brain. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. According to Reuters, Russia has demanded Washington restart military-to-military -military cooperation to avert unintended incidents near Syria at a time when U.S. officials say Moscow is building up forces to protect President Bashar al-Assad's government. Of course, Assad is backed by Russia and openly blamed by the United States for attacks on his own people, attacks that just don't add up. This is a big issue that we're facing here. And Americans have seen the lies of WMDs in Iraq. They've seen the lies that brought us to Vietnam with the Gulf of Tonkin. Uh, we've seen so many of these staged events, so many of these false flags. Now, I wanna be clear as well. I believe that there was some type of chemical attack. The numbers aren't clear. The media has tried to claim already, Alex Jones says nothing happened. No, something happened in the middle of a battle zone in the capital city, uh, Damascus of Syria. And now Assad's come out and said today, why would I attack a bunch of civilians knowing that the West has said that that's their red line a year ago to the day, that they would come and bombard us and back up the rebels? Do I want to get arrested and killed? Do I want to be thrown out of power? Do I want to see every church uh, in Syria burned to the ground because the Al-Qaeda groups Obama is supporting have said that? And I talked to a lot of special forces people on and off air. Uh, including today, and they said, yeah, none of this makes any sense, and the West is on record funding the rebels with even heavy weapons like tanks, heat-seeking missiles, you name it. So this is really incredible. BBC News admits they put out a fake photo from a real massacre Saddam had been involved in from 2003, but but they, they lied and, and said these were the thousands dead from Assad when it looks like max it was 100. The Obama administration claims to be fighting ISIS, while plenty of evidence shows the Obama administration has long supported ISIS. Now the hornet's nest is stirring in Obama's inner circle. The Guardian reports Barack Obama's intelligence chief James Clapper is said to be in frequent and unusual contact with a military intelligence officer at the center of a growing scandal over rosy portrayals of the war against the Islamic State. James Clapper, the director of national intelligence, is said to talk nearly every day with the head of U.S. Central Command's intelligence wing, Army Brigadier General Stephen Grove, which is highly unusual, according to a former intelligence official. Grove is said to be implicated in a Pentagon inquiry into manipulated war intelligence. The Daily Beast recently reported more than 50 intelligence analysts working out of the U.S. military Central Command have formally complained that their reports on ISIS and Al-Qaeda's branch in Syria were being inappropriately altered by senior officials. One of the key aspects of the policymaking process in the United States is that analysts get to say what they think without any interference, without anybody changing it. So this is a very, very serious charge. I think it needs to be fully investigated. And if there is truth that somebody has been meddling with their analysis, I think uh, um, 
I think somebody needs to lose their job over. It appears the giant lie 9-11 victim FBI Al-Qaeda expert John O'Neill tried to expose is finally caving in on itself. Now, hundreds of Iranian soldiers have been sent to Syria in an effort to help Russia defend the al-Assad government according to the Israeli media, rendering the Obama administration's sole purpose for truly being in Syria pointless. Ynet News, the English language Israeli news website, reports that Soleimani, commander of Iran's elite Quds Force, is cooperating with Russia. An Israeli military source told Ynet, Iran's stepped up military involvement in Syria is due to Assad's crisis and under Russian-Iranian cooperation as a result of a meeting between Soleimani with Russian President Vladimir Putin. This claim has not yet been independently verified. It's hard to forecast whether Russia's presence will decide the fate of Syria, but it will lengthen the fighting and bloodletting for at least another year because ISIS won't give up, the source said. John Bound for Infowars.com I was there at the beginning, inside the Clinton machine. I saw it all happen, from the corrupt to the absolutely corrupt. And that's when I thought about my father, who was dying of lung cancer, and what he would do if he knew the man I'd become. And then I thought about my daughter. What if the cocaine they were bringing in was to end up getting used by her? I hit my knees that day and asked God to forgive me. I wasn't a good person. I worked in special operations, Central America, South America. I did a lot of bad things. But I hit the bottom that day and said I was going to make up for it. And now, I just want to see these criminals brought to justice and get their just due, not made president, but put where they belong in jail. One thing about Hillary, Bill was just a good timing guy, but Hillary, she's an animal. Hillary is the one that I promise you, she pulls the strings. She pulled him in Arkansas. She pulled him in the White House when she was there as the First Lady. And my God, if she gets to be president, what you see out here now is going to change. We thought it changed with Obama. There's nothing compared to what's going to happen with Hillary. And I tell you right now, I will stop Hillary. We've gone further than anybody we know of, and that's all we're going to say. And people can ask us a hundred different ways and from a hundred different directions. And we're just going to leave the ultimate decision up to the American people. I really um, just want everybody to take a deep breath and relax and just, you know, sit back because here they come again. We're going to have to just ride through this as we have so many of these other um, false accusations. Joe Biggs here with Infowars.com. Now I'm at the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas, where tonight Donald Trump will be giving a speech. Now he's been going state to state, gaining popularity. There's a lot of people who have Trump fever, but I'm a little, uh, I got a little speculation here and there as to whether or not I fully trust this guy. I'm more Rand Paul at this point in time, but you know, I'll give this guy a shot. We'll see what happens. But there's a lot of controversial things that he has talked about, talking about building this giant wall that's going to cover the southern border of the U.S. That's going to be a, a waste of money. I've been on the border. I've seen how easy it is to crawl under it and or climb over it. Or like the cartels do in Arizona, they just cut it down with a settling gas torch and then weld it back up later. And he's also made some other comments as well, saying that a lot of people coming over from Mexico are the bad people that we're getting, that there's a lot of criminals that are coming over, which is true. There's a good bit, but I wouldn't say a lot, like he said. Um, but there's a few people outside protesting. We also have a pot of about a thousand people who are lined up around the center right now, waiting in line to show up. Now, as you can see, if you look around, this is going to be a giant auditorium. It looks like there's going to be 
a lot of people here tonight, a lot of people waiting to see what Donald Trump's going to say. Now, we've got VIP access if you'd like to 